guys welcome to another episode of two pit bulls where i do dog educational videos today i decided to make another video on the same day because you know it's raining and there's not much out to do in this rain i hate it so much and so do the dogs as you can see they just chose to sleep which sucks you know so today's topic is going to be a very um interesting one a lot of people never mention this Especially where I live. I live in, you know, the Midwest, close to Chicago, you know, really close to Indiana. Um, so, it's very uh, rare to hear this kind of dog, but uh, today's topic is going to be, what is a Dogo Argentine? Um, you know, what's a Dogo Argentino? I think I'm pronouncing that right. Let me double check. Is a Dogo Argentino. What is a Dogo Argentino? And I would say they look very similar to pit bulls, very similar to pit bulls and American Staffordshire Terriers, if you were to cross the two. Um, powerful yet possessed of an almost feline grace, the Dogo Argentinos are fearless yet sensitive, vivacious outdoors yet calm indoors dog. This impressive dog is best known by active people who will develop his athletic abilities. He must have plenty of physical exercise to maintain his superb muscular structure and plenty of mental exercise to satisfy his desire to work and hunt. So these are work and hunting dogs. They are very active. I mean very active and can become very aggressive if they're not worked out. Um, dog Argentinos love to be petted. They crave almost uh, physical contact leaning against you and lying on your feet with his um, with dog fighting ancestry behind him dog aggression can be a problem a dog Argentina should be thoroughly socialized with other dogs from an elderly age he should not be kept with another dog of the same sex with his strong prey drive Argentine dogos are um, should not be kept with cats either unless raised with them strong willed and independent but also highly intelligent the dogo Argentina will respect and owner who is equally confident and consistent. Because of his hound uh, heritage, the Dogo is constantly intrigued with the exciting smells around him, so you must work to keep his attention during training sessions. So you can see they just have a natural instinct because of their background to hunting and just wanting to look for things and, and smelling out paths, you know, kind of like bloodhounds. Um, if you want a dog who is large, muscular, mastiff type dog, has a short, easy care, white coat, thrives on vigorous exercise and athletic activities, looks imposing so makes it an effective deterrent, yet is usually non-aggressive with people, carries himself with a safety, uh, with a steady and safety dignified impressive presence, um, a dog argentino may be right for you. And these are really nice dogs, very cool looking, they're usually white. I'm not sure that I've seen any other color ones. I've seen only one in person in Chicago. Um, so yeah, more traits and characteristics of the Argentino Dogo is uh, providing enough exercise and mental stimulation. Dogo Argentinos must have regular opportunities to vent their energy and do interesting things. Otherwise, they would become rambitious and bored with, they, uh, with them usually expressing by barking and destructive chewing. So this is true. Um, Especially with other dogs, like if you don't exercise your dog and it's very high energetic and it just loves to thrive on energy, then it will tear up your porch or tear up its own doghouse. It's happened before and some of my dogs I have and uh, there's a high possibility of that. Um, so number two, um, some things to keep in mind about the characteristics is uh, providing enough socialization. Most Argentino dogs uh, have protective instincts towards strangers. They need extensive exposure to friendly people so they learn to socialize the normal behavior towards of good guys. Then they can re recognize, um, you know, then they can recognize the different when uh, the difference when someone acts abnormally without careful socialization. They may be suspicious of everyone, which could lead to biting. Some dogos go in opposite directions without enough socialization. They become fearful of strangers, which can lead to defensive biting. Um, so yeah, basically socialize your dog, otherwise they'll think everyone is a victim, is a stranger and a target, so, especially if it's dog Argentinos, because they have very strong, um, you know, um, hunting, uh, instincts, which is not bad, you know, it's not bad at all, but, uh, if not tamed, you know, it can lead to something else. Anyways, um, the dog Argentino um, was developed to hunt other animals. Most dogos are dominant or aggressive toward other dogs of the same sex. Many have strong instincts to chase and seize cats and other fleeing creatures. 
If anything goes wrong in the breeding, socializing, training, handling, or management of this breed is capable of seriously injuring or killing other animals. The strong temperament Dogo Argentinos are not golden retrievers. The best Dogos are versatile working dogs capable of learning a great deal, but they have an independent mind of their own and are not pushovers to raise and train. Some Dogos are willful, obstinate, and dominant and will make you prove that you can take them to do things. Um, you must show them through absolute consistency that you mean what you say. Um, slobbering. Some Dogos, especially those with loose jaws, um, tend to slobber or drool, especially after eating and drinking. I would describe, you know what, I would describe a Dogo as a mix between a Boxer and an American Staffordshire Terrier. They look very similar. They're very tall. They have those um, droopy uh, lips, kind of like a Boxer. But anyways, some legal liabilities that you may face because of owning a Dogo Argentino, um, they're, high, they're vaguely resemble pit bulls. Argentino Dogos may be targeted for banning in certain areas or refusal of home ownership insurance policies your friends and neighbors may be uncomfortable around this breed in this day and age the legal liabilities of owning any breed that looks intimidating and has a history as a guard dog should be seriously considered be because people are quicker to sue if such a dog does anything even remotely questionable so those are just them some things in the dog argentino um you know they're very nice dogs i really like them um they're just it just sucks that they still have that um, negative connotation, you know, um, it really does suck. The Dogo Argentino is known as the Argentinian Mastiff, I forgot to mention that earlier, um, is a large white muscular dog that was developed in Argentina primarily for the purposes, purposes of big hunting including wild boar. The breeder Antonio Norez Martinez also wanted a dog that would exhibit steady, fast bravery and willingness to protect its human companion to death. It was first bred in 1928 from the Corodoba fighting dog along with a wide array of other breeds including the Great Dane So yeah, it does kind of look like a Great Dane. It looks like a Great Dane and a American Staffordshire mix. That's a good point. It kind of does look like one um, So a little bit more of the Dogar Argentino appearance um, It's a large white short coated dog with muscular strong body that rarely has any markings um, its health, um, as in the, you know, some of the health that they, some of the health issues that they may face, or some health benefits that they, have, that they may have, the dogo may experience pigment-related deafness. There is possibility of an approximate 10% deafness rate overall with some dogos. Um, studies have shown that the incidence of deafness is drastically reduced when the only breeding stock used is that with bilaterally normal hearing. Um, so yeah, they're basically used for hunting. And a little bit about the history. In 1928, Antonio Norris Martinez, a medical doctor, professor, and surgeon, set out to breed a big game hunting dog that was also capable of being a loyal pet and guard dog. Antonio Martinez uh, picked the Cordoba fighting dog to be the base for his breed. Um, this breed is extinct today, but it was said that as large as and ferocious dogs, it was a great hunter. Um, so even though it was big, it was still good a hunter because you know some big dogs they they have um, brittle bones, but this one happened to have um, long um, reinforced bones. Martinez crossed it with the Great Dane, Boxer, Spanish Mastiff, Old English Bulldog, Bull Terrier, Great Pyrenees, Pointer, um, Irish Wolfhound, and Dog de Boreau. Uh Norez Martinez continued to develop the breed via selective breeding to introduce the desired traits that are now create the Dogo Argentino. So that is basically a little bit of the history. I don't want to get too in-depth with it. You guys can look it up on your own, but yeah, so that's pretty fascinating. You know, that dog is crossed with so many breeds um, and it created this unique looking dog that is now, um, you know, called the Dogo Argentino. So uh, yeah, without further ado, um, I'd like to give a shout out to all my supporters. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Love you guys' support. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you learned anything about this uh, type of dog or if you first time hearing about it. Um, also, please um, give this uh, video a drop a uh, comment below. Sorry, I can't talk to the day in the morning. It's so early. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. I try to do daily videos. I try not to pass more than two days without uploading because, you know, I really like my... Uh, you know my videos and how informative they are because i learn as you guys learn so yeah 
Shout out to all you guys. Thank you guys for the love and support. Yogi and Nala, thank you for it. Look at Yogi and Nala. Oh, look at Nala. You so pretty. Look at him. You so pretty. So, yeah. Come back for more tomorrow. Peace. I'll see you guys on the next one.